We are live. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. It's August 29th, 2021. It is 9.22 a.m. Pacific time. I'm a little bit late, 20 minutes late, or 22 minutes late, depending on how you look at it. Uh, but I wanted to make sure I got in the live stream. I am running, I was running a little bit behind schedule, setting everything up. But I'm glad we have uh, those of you who have joined us today as we uh, welcome in uh, all the people in the chat, let's uh, say hello to a few people. We see Handquake is here. Good to see you. Fan is here. We have uh, Firebolt 2310. We got Nadine. Good morning, Nadine. Andy Kyler. Executor Raptor. A lot of the regulars here. Uh, we got William Cohen. I guess, yeah, 20 minutes late. Balances off last week. When I started early, right? So it all it all bounces out in the end. Uh, Constantine is here. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, let's see who else is here. We got Raja Duda from India. Good to see you, my friend. Shy Brains, how, hello. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you, my friend, as well. All right. So we released a video yesterday, or I released a video yesterday of the Legion. And you can see it here, the Legion. 7i it's a 16 inch gaming laptop i'm very very impressed with it very nice display on the left is the thinkpad p15 gen 2 that i took delivery of uh, the other day and i want to do some live testing as i want to get that video out this thing by the way is a powerhouse we're going to talk about some of the numbers i've been seeing we're going to show you some of them today in this live stream. So if you're a Lenovo fan, whether it be the ThinkPad, the Legion line, I know they're very different kinds of laptops, but we have them in the studio. And let's get everybody here and on the way here to this uh, testing on this one. We're going to test that. But let's talk about the Legion for a little bit. And you can see a top-down shot of both of these. Um, you can see that the a keyboard it has a number pad they both have a number pad by the way this thinkpad has a great keyboard this has a very nice keyboard as well it has the more familiar smile ship keys we know with lenovo as well it has the numpad it has the rgb backlighting and let me turn that on i don't know if you can see it well let's see we'll, we'll see what happens so we got the lighting on and if you can see it here a little bit and I could turn it off if it gets too annoying. I do turn it off after a while because it does, to me, get a little bit annoying. But it's nice to have as a, an aesthetic. It, it looks nice. And some people obviously may like that. So there you go. All right. Uh, hello to Germany from uh, Manuel Bishop. Good to see you, my friend. NV15 this week for sure. I am done with it. I just got to get a good release time for it. Uh, but can you probably, can you shut it off? Me too, but you can probably shut it off. Yeah, you can just shut it off if you go hit the function and the space bar and it shuts it off. You don't have to shut off the bottom either if you hit it one more time. And now everything's off. So you just hit the function, space bar, and that gets you what you need to do as far as turning off the RGB. The, and I don't know why the computer just went a little bit 
I don't know, but something happened there. But anyway, good to see everybody. And I wanted to tell you, if you didn't see the video that I released on the Legion 7i, I released it yesterday. It's doing pretty doing okay and uh, just go over to my channel i'll drop a link when the live stream is over i see we already have 15 likes people do me a favor as we begin here hit that like button we have 36 of you watching this helps get it spread out over youtube i will also take super chat super stickers that help support the channel and of course memberships there are three tiers help support the channel as well and then of course you could always just give the watch time share the these videos on the social media and of course uh, hit that like button and, and and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I know not everybody, not all the subscribers are getting the notifications. So I'm doing the best I can to try to alert everybody on social media before I do go live or do release a video. So that hopefully will help in that regard. And I also released my unboxing and first look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, which I have here. And you can see it right here in this case and you can get a better look over here and then i also have the watch i left it upstairs it's the galaxy watch 4 did not do well so uh let me just address that in a moment uh what the deal is so i did a lot of phones and stuff in the beginning and i didn't obviously i didn't get anything from samsung on this um but very disappointing um to see that very very little views on that video and um so I got to rethink, you know, do I want to do phones? I mean, mobile phones, which I always did in the past, but apparently my regular viewers don't want to watch it. So uh, just have to see what works, what doesn't work. Uh, laptops work and seems like mobile phones for some reason don't work for me anymore. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe if I just put it on my, I have a second channel that I do nothing with. Maybe if I put it there, that might be better. All right, let's, uh, Joe, ba Joe Baz is asking, Lenovo Legion 7, ThinkPad P15, yeah, audio, Andrew Mark David, audio, which is the better audio. Uh, I, you know, they're not, the, the, the Legion is not bad, actually. For a gaming laptop, it was actually not bad. Pretty powerful, two, two watt speakers, they're bottom firing. This one, I still got to test, but the, um, the P15 has, uh, I guess, decent audio for a mobile workstation. We can talk about that in a moment. This one has a QHD resolution display. It's a 2560 by 1600, 165 hertz refresh rate on this one. And to me, that is uh, pretty amazing because it is so smooth. It is so nice when you're scrolling and there's no lag whatsoever. It really is hard to go to back to a standard 60 hertz display, to be honest. It's that good. And it's also a very bright display. Um, now, they rate this at 530 nits or 500 nits. I actually got, I think, 531, something like that. Very, very bright display. And to make it even better, it is a matte display, so you don't get any glare or reflections, very little, if any. So really, that display is, to me, the star of the show as far as the Legion 7i is concerned. And you can see it here. Um, this is a very nice display. And then if I go to a website, and when I scroll on it, you're going to see how smooth it is. And of course, I got to update my website. And it's hard to show it on the video. I'm running at 60 frames per second, 1080p, by the way, on this live stream. But it is hard to show it to you. But if you look at it in real life and you see it in person, you will notice that difference that that 165 hertz refresh rate makes along with that three millisecond response time. And again, the lower the response time, the better. That means when you're gaming on this, this thing is, an, is a beast when it comes to gaming. Now, as far as that gaming and performance is concerned, you can get this with the Core i9, an HK, Core i9 HK processor. You don't need to do it as far as I'm concerned. This Core i7, 11800H processor with the RTX 3080 GPU that has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, GD, sorry, 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 video RAM, 32 gigabytes of uh, DDR4 RAM running at 3200 megahertz. So very, very good stuff. It is the X8 RAM. So that is the faster RAM. That means you're going to get a better performance out of, say, something like an X16 that we saw with the Dell XPS 15. So what you're looking at on this laptop is a very, very capable machine when it comes to gaming, when it comes to productivity work, it's good. Now, the color accuracy was very good. 
The blacks were very good. The white points were very good. And what I noticed is it did cover the color gamut decently. It's 95% sRGB. In the 70s, as far as the Adobe RGB, the P3 wide color gamut, I think 66% NTSC. What does that mean? So if you're a content creator and looking at something like this, decent choice, not the best out there as far as color, for color gamut, but it is pretty color accurate. It is under two. I think I got 1.27 as far as the Delta E score. So it is color accurate. So to me, this is a very, very capable machine. Good numbers out of that, out of the processor on this one, as far as the gaming, the benchmarks, all that, it's all there. Uh, very, very, very good stuff. Let me take some of your questions and comments and we can go back. Does the refresh rate drain the battery? Yeah, so battery life is probably its weakest point, but let's please let's keep something in mind. First and foremost, this is a gaming laptop, not, not really geared toward those that need all day battery life as far as productivity work is concerned. The, as far as the uh, battery life I got, I got shot just shy of five hours on my continuous web surfing test. So that tells you you're probably getting anywhere from four to five hours, depending on what you're doing at best. Again, it's your mileage may vary, but you're not getting this to uh, to have all day battery life because most people when they're going to game on their gaming laptop are going to be plugged in getting maximum performance on performance mode and and there you go it really has um, some really good performance not really known for its battery life okay so Jeff is saying aren't core i9 processors overkill for laptops they can't maintain high power levels for long without room to release all that heat yeah I don't think most people will need a core i9 Jeff and this is no exception here this one has um, the Core i7, and I think that's the sweet spot between uh, managing the thermals. And I thought the thermals were good. I showed you the numbers when I ran my Prime 95 stress test. It uh, would get up to about uh, 95 degrees Celsius. It would last for about uh, five minutes. It would turbo boost. Was it 4.95 gigahertz? And then it would drop down to, I think, 4.1 to 3.8 to 4.1 gigahertz, and if I remember correctly, 81 to 87 degrees Celsius, a much cooler temperature. The fans will be kick in, as I mentioned. It, you will notice them, again, to cool this thing down. It does have vapor chamber cooling. So having vapor chamber cooling, I think, is a benefit on this laptop. I like vapor chamber cooling, and you see it does maintain good clock speeds even under heavy load. So there you go. Um 16 inch laptop is good enough for desktop replacement doing productivity productive work after seeing the xps 17 i'm feeling the legion looking too compact and small so what you're looking at here is a 16 inch display it's a qhd resolution as i mentioned 2560 by 1600 that is a, a 16 to 10 aspect ratio now it's not the 17 inch that we see on the xps 17 but the couple of things that this has that the XPS 17 doesn't have, which, by the way, has a phenomenal display as far as I'm concerned. But what this brings to the table is a higher refresh rate, a faster response time. This is a three millisecond response time. The Dell 15 and the 17, the XPS line, a uh, uh, higher response time, not as good. And so if you're doing things like gaming, I would prefer this display because it'll look better. Obviously, the refresh rate is higher as opposed to 60 hertz. This is 165 hertz, much better. And that, in that regard, and especially for gamers, you're going to want to look at this one. So yes, Jeff, Core i9 is definitely overkill. Your video did show good performance. Yes, that is true. It does. And again, I have the Core i7 on this one. Now, this one has the Core i9. This is a really nice processor. We're going to get into this one uh, in the second part of the live stream as we do some testing on it. So the, uh, Nadine is asking, so does vapor chamber cooling result in a quieter laptop? It doesn't necessarily result in a quieter laptop. It results in a, in a cooler laptop. And I think... It does, what we're looking at when it talks about quieter is how loud the fans get, obviously, and how annoying or what's your threshold as far as what you would tolerate as far as fan noise. And I got to say, you do hear them. I do mention that in the video. You do hear the fans on this. Uh, the vapor chamber cooling does its job when it comes to cooling it. I think it does a pretty decent job uh, to, vapor, to, to, to dissipate the heat, but the loud fans do play a part in this. So just keep that in mind. 
Obviously, the Legion is geared to a different set of users than the XPS PCs, and that is correct. So the, the, the XPS 15 or the XPS 17 is a consumer-based laptop that is a general-purpose laptop that creators will, will gravitate to, that, that people that want a high-end spec laptop that looks great, I mean, really sleek and modern, really have thin bezels, everything you'd want in that, that is a different audience than those who are looking at the Legion. Now, having said that, this Legion 7i has excellent build quality. It's a aluminum um, magnesium alloy on it. And I got to say, it's good. Now, you're looking at 5.5 pounds or 2. Point, uh, what is that? 2.2 kilograms and definitely uh, portable for a 15 inch, uh, for a 16 inch rather, gaming laptop. So, yes. And I think the bottom line with this laptop is you're getting, and by the way, if you look at the Geekbench score, and I want to show it to you in a moment here. Let me go to the screenshots here. I just want to bring it up for, just to show you. So when I measured it, it got a 9301 multi-core, a 1560 uh, single core score. Now to put it into perspective, I want to show you what this has. Now, this is the P15. This is a mobile workstation, right? And let me bring up that score. So this one did a 9183. So these are both very good numbers, but I want to show you this. This has a different, uh, this has the um, core i9, and let me bring you up the, the specs here because, actually, let me go to the system here. And I can... Bring it over here. Oops, sorry about that. Let me go. Let me remember how to do this. Hold on. Let me go here. No, why is that? Oh, there we go. So, little technical difficulties, people. Why is that doing that? That's not the one that I'm. Oh, here we go. Never mind. I got it. So this has 32 gigabytes of RAM a Core i9-11950H. Now, this is my first time looking at the Core i9-11950H. Uh, this is a pretty exciting processor, I think. And it has, as far as a graphics card or GPU, let me go to the device manager so you can see it. This is the NVIDIA RTX a5000 GPU, and these are some pretty good numbers I've seen. So 9183 multi-core, 9301 on this one. So if we go back to, uh, if we go back to this camera, you can see the differences. This has a better single core. This has a better multi-core, but not by much. These are some pretty impressive numbers. So what am I take? What is my takeaway? for Intel on this, as far as I'm concerned. This is a comeback, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely a comeback. Look at these numbers. The numbers don't lie. Very good single core, very good multi-core. So yes, Ryzen is great when you're plugged in with the AMDs and they, they are great, they're efficient chips. But let me tell you something, Intel has made a comeback, especially with this one on this uh, Legion 7i. I really think they've made a comeback here with these numbers. We're gonna so look at some other numbers here. If you go to, and if I show you this, uh, let's go to the R20 test, 5412. Very, very impressive indeed on the Legion 7i. And then if you go to the R15, take a look at this, 194 FPS, 2169 for the CB score. These are some very, very good numbers. Uh, take a look at this PCI 4. Look at this, 60, look at, the, holy smokes, 65, 87, 97 read, 49, 49, 60. But look at this on this one, okay? Take a look at what I measured on here, on the P15. 54, 10, 39, 03. Very impressive, both very fast SSDs. Obviously, the Legion is geared to a different set of users than the Dell XPS PCs. Um, you are correct, William. These are very different laptops from the XPS line. The gaming is different. I know I'm a little bit behind on the chat here. Let's see. The Legion with a 300-watt power brick will generate a lot of heat for gamers, and vapor chamber cooling makes sense in this type of PC. Yes, so 300-watt power adapter on this one. 
This one, I think, had 230 on the P15. And they use that Lenovo proprietary connection. Again, I showed that, the 300 watt in this one. It's a little, it's a pretty robust uh, power brick. So you will have to carry that with you if you're on the road. Something to keep in mind. First time here from Sri Lanka. Welcome, my friend. I'm glad you're able to join us. Can you run Crisis on the ThinkPad? I don't know. Uh, mobile workstation with huge bezels. Okay, so, Van, you seem to be obsessed with those bezels, my friend. We'll talk about that in a moment. The uh, Legion looks really beautiful with the thin bezels. Yeah, probably I shouldn't show this these two together. <laughs> but I wanted to show performance. Very interesting what a workstation brings to the table as opposed to a gaming laptop. So... Let's turn our attention a little bit to this one. So if you go to the top down, this is the ThinkPad P15 Gen 2 mobile workstation. It's got the Core i9. Again, for those wondering, it's the, um, what is it? It's the Core i9-11950H processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and it has uh, an Huge, as far as upgradability, by the way, four RAM slots, four SSD slots. We're not kidding. This thing is a beast when it comes to power and performance. Beauty-wise, well, I got to say, 1996 called, and they were looking for their bezels. That's all I can say about that. It's not a This is not a beauty contest, ladies and gentlemen. This is not going to win any fashion award. It's going to give you sheer muscle power, okay? It's going to be sheer power on this one. Um, and you can see from these numbers so far. Now, this can come with an OLED display. I don't have that OLED UHD display. This is a full HD display that they sent over from Lenovo. 1920 by 1080, it's 16 to 9, 15.6 inch. Very nice display. It's bright. It's a 500 nit HDR Dolby Vision display. Uh, you're going to see all this in the upcoming video on this, so stay tuned for that. I see we have 51 watching, but we only have uh 35 likes people do me a favor hit that like button please help get this spread out over youtube thank you very much for that public service announcement no sd card slot that is correct on the uh legion that was one of the things i pointed out again not a huge deal for a gaming laptop but content creators who want a game will have something to keep in mind but you can get a dongle as far as the ports are concerned people Ports are very good on this, minus that SD card. But you pretty much get everything on it. You get Thunderbolt 4, you get USB-C ports, you get HDMI 2.1, I believe. You get three USB-A ports. Uh, you just have a whole plethora of ports. RJ45 is there, so if you want to connect wired internet, you have that. And really, pretty much everything except an SD card reader. There is a shutter switch, and it is not a Windows Hello camera. I did show an example in it. No fingerprint, no biometrics whatsoever on that laptop. But again, gaming laptop. Now, if we look at this one, this is a Windows Hello camera on it. It's got a shutter switch as well. This is one of the things I love about the P15 Gen 2 is the keyboard, 1.8 millimeters of key travel on this. So very comfortable to type on. Very, very nice. This is your ThinkPad keyboard view. People, you're going to love it. Absolutely great. It is a spill-resistant keyboard. So if you spill coffee or water or something like that, it'll have a good chance to survive. Good morning from Robert Leaston. Good morning, Andrew. I have the Lenovo P17 i9 10885H. Quadro RTX 3000, single core score 1158, dual core 8367. Are these scores good for what I have? Yes, these, those are very good scores. To put it in context, this core i9 for this 11th gen, 11950H, uh, as far as the single core 1669, and so you're going to see an improvement in single core, and 9183 multi-core. So you do see an improvement on that, uh, Robert. So definitely... But you definitely have some good numbers there. So don't worry. You're still in good shape. Uh, Jeremy, how are you, my friend? Do I have the X1 Extreme Gen 4 and the P1 Gen 4 coming? They're supposedly coming. I don't have them yet. I would definitely do a comparison video. I don't have them yet. I've been asking Lenovo. I'm not sure about availability so far. I know one person in the Discord about my Discord. If those of you are not joined our Discord, go ahead and hit that link for the Discord server, by the way 
it's a great place to talk and hang out. One person I saw on the Discord server got his Gen 4 X1 Extreme. He's very happy with it. So I'm still waiting on a review unit from, from Lenovo. Now, I did check on the Lenovo's website, and it showed that there is a really big delay on a lot of these laptops. So again, uh, you know, that's just the shortage we're dealing with now here in 2021. The, the great laptop or chip shortage, I should say, tech shortage in general. So big, pretty big lead times. Oh, hey, dude, Duck Vision. Legion is such a good laptop. Wish it had an OLED option. Yeah, you know, an OLED option would be nice on this. Um, but I got to tell you, to be honest with you, this QHD display is bright. It's sharp. It's very nice. I love that 165 hertz refresh rate. I love the response time, the three millisecond response time. And it's very good. By the way, you can put the screen all the way down as you see there. For those wondering, I don't know if I showed it in the video, but I'd show it to you there. Jeff is ask, uh, saying, have I noticed if Lenovo does better sales for Labor Day or Black Friday? They have finally released a tablet I'm interested in. I know you've been interested in that. I think it's the Lenovo, what is it, the 13? What is it, the P? I, I forget what the naming convention is, but uh, do they have better sales? I don't know if they're better, but it, with the supplies the way they are, I would grab it if you can get it because shortages are abound. So I don't know if, if Labor Day is better than Black Friday, but you do get some pretty good day, Labor Day deals. And I'll be checking out to see what's upcoming for Labor Day. So stay tuned. I'll let you know. Lenovo, HP, Dell, we'll see what they all have to offer. Good to see you, Marshall. Only need a dongle, not a Samsung double dongle. Only need one dongle. Yeah, so <laughs> that's a very good point. Um <laughs> So on the Legion, again, great port selection. The only thing that it is missing is the SD card. But again, gamers are not so concerned about SD cards. At least I don't think they are. They're more concerned with the screen, obviously, with the refresh rate, with the performance out of the CPU, GPU. The cooling, obviously, is important. Uh, having an SD card, you know, not a big deal. Just get a dongle, right? So... Yoga tab 13, that's it. That's what I was thinking. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, good luck in getting it. I, that's nice. And I want to hear your thoughts on it. Hopefully, Lenovo will eventually send me one. What is the refresh rate of the P15? So I think it's um, it's a 60 hertz refresh rate. There's nothing special about the display other than it is a matte display. It is bright. Um, and it is. Cl I think this one is close to 500 nits, actually. I think 480 and change. That is very good. It's a 60 hertz refresh rate panel and we can take a look at that so we go to advanced display settings 60 hertz if we go here i could show you here so it's if you look at the bottom where my cursor is 60 hertz 1920 by 1080 so very it's a very nice um it's a very nice display i gotta say but I think the performance has been very good. Let's, uh, I want to run some benchmarks on it while we talk about these two laptops and because I need to do testing for it as I am getting ready. And let's do the uh, 3D Mark. Let's go to Downloads. So the 3D Mark is here somewhere. I think I installed it. I hope I did. We got Prime 95, PC Mark. There it is, 3D Mark. So... Let me go to setup here. And this has got to be on the performance. Let me maximum performance on that. And let me just get this set up real quick, people. Just bear with me as I do this. Again, I'm going to be, I need to live test it now because I'm running short on time and I want to get this video out because I have so many others to get to as well. Hope everybody's doing okay. I see we got 60 of you watching or 63 of you watching. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are, of course. If you, those of you joining us late, we're taking a look at the P15 Gen 2. I'm going to do some live testing as we're going to go right here. And then also the Legion 7i. Take care, Than. Good to see you, my friend. I'd love to see thermal performance on the ThinkPad. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to talk more about that. For the this has got a lot of room to dissipate heat. Upgradeability on it is is fantastic on this one. Um, 
you're going to have four total RAM slots, four SSD slots. I show you in the video. Are you happy he's leaving? <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, fan. Uh, hello from Poland, Pavel. Good to see you, my friend. The GPU is upgradable in the P1. So awesome. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's a very good, that's nice to bring that up. I, I got to get my hands on the P1 or the X1 Extreme Gen 4. Now, is it only on the P1 that's upgradable the G, uh, the, as far as the GPU, or are they both? Because they're very similar, obviously, to one another. So I don't know in that regard, but having an upgradable GPU is, sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, Jeff, this thing is a beast when it comes to upgradability. I open it up in the video. It's coming out this week, so stay tuned. Four RAM slots, four SSD slots. It is really ridiculous. While it may not win any beauty contests, it definitely is uh, going to win some power contests in some ways. So let me um, let me make sure. Let me go to the make sure it's on the uh, the performance. The Vantage, let's see if I can change, make sure it's there. Let's see what it is on. So this is the Lenovo Vantage. It's their uh, settings app. So let me go to more settings here. So it's on the intelligent cooling. Let me see if I need to do anything. Quiet mode. So performance mode, slider. So it's, okay, so it is using the Windows slider. Okay, I just want to make sure. So we're on performance mode. Okay, just wanted to make sure. So getting back to here oops I keep doing this today why am i doing that all right so let's launch the product and we're we're i'm installing the 3d mark because i want to um be able to do the benchmarks to obviously kill two birds with one stone as we talk about these laptops today uh, cause I do have that video coming out. I'm going to also do the PC mark if we have some time. So I'm going to run the time spy test. That's the first one I usually run and I'm going to turn off the sound. Obviously we don't need any sound. So Jeff is going to be waiting for the video to see what the maximum Ram and battery life is on the P15. So I still didn't test the battery life. It has a nine. Um, uh, what was the battery on this? This was a 95, I think it was a 95 watt hour battery, pretty big battery. But again, drawing a lot of power in this beast. So there you go. Christine Roy, my first live stream. Good morning from California. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome. Nice to have you join us, Christine. Um, Jan Henrik is here. Hello. Biking through water floods. What? Be careful. Those disco lights on the Legion, I love. Yeah, what he's talking about is this. Let me... Get some disco lights on. There we go. <laughs> you can sort of see it there <laughs> with all these studio lights. It may be kind of hard. Uh, while this is running the Time Spy test of the 3D Mark uh, test. So there you go. How is everybody doing? Let's say hello to some people and get some questions in. Which do I prefer? These or the XPS 15? I love the XPS. I love my XPS 15. To be honest with you, and um, I'm really happy with it. Let me just see what I just got a message. I just need to see this. I don't know what that is all about. Um. So while we're doing this testing, let me go. Let me go back over here. And we can see that. So. I'm expecting good things out of the P15, to be honest. But I know it's not a mainstream laptop. I meant, uh, Andrew, I meant the GPU. Oh, the GPU is upgradable on the P15. Oh, yeah, that's the, okay, I'm sorry, not the P1. Yeah, so the P15 has a lot of upgradable features. Uh, we'll talk more about it in the video, but I can tell you I've opened it up. There, are, There's a slot on the bottom, and, I, and once we're done with this test, I'll show you. There's RAM, there's two slots there that you can access the RAM, and uh, there's an SSD. I think there might be one SSD there. Or two there. There are two there. There are two and two. And then when you remove the keyboard, which is not hard. It's not as bad as it sounds. When you remove the keyboard, you have another two RAM slots and another two SSD slots. It is pretty phenomenal as far as upgradability is concerned. So if you're looking for that laptop that or that workstation that will be with you for a long time because of expandability, upgradability. This is your model right here. Um, 
So that, that's been pretty amazing. Um, what else about it? So it's a workstation. So that means it's going to be geared towards architects, the digital imaging, rendering, through CAD work, stuff like that. And it is a beast for that. Now that A5000, RTX A5000, is been performing very well. It's not it's not a gaming GPU per se, but I definitely can game on it. There's no question about that. So you're you're looking pretty good in that regard. Uh, but again, these are professionals that are using this to do those kind of things. Graphics look great. Yeah. So Robert, we're testing the um, Time Spy score on the P15, and it's this these, these this laptop here on the left. And then I have the Legion. I don't know if you caught it. Good morning, Robert. I don't know if you caught it on the right, but that is the Legion 7i. I released a video yesterday. Let's take a look how it's doing. Um, let's take a look. And right now, it's doing okay. It's doing okay. Not great. I mean, not phenomenal, but there seems to be more interest, obviously, than my... Uh, the one I did on the um, on this on the the Galaxy Fold. So I have the this is the the Z Fold three. I have the case with the uh, pen. The pen it's a good case, but there are some issues with it. I'm going to talk about it in a later video. Um, so far, it's I'm liking it. You've got the um, let me just get this set up here. Hold on, and then you can see here. This is the third generation, obviously. So uh, I'm liking it. There are some issues as far as this case is concerned, but the phone itself is pretty phenomenal. Do I think if you have the two, you need to get the three? No, I don't think you need to get the three. I think what you're going to get is the two. If you have it, you're fine. This is an expensive phone about $1,800, and I don't know if you need to upgrade it. Now, if you don't have one and want a, a folding phone, this is a nice choice. Now, I don't think I'm going to be keeping it only because I have the two, and the two is is pretty much similar to this. So it's a little bit lighter. The battery is not quite as good on this one as this two, and you're watching this, Michael, Michael Pepper Tech, on the two, on, the, on your fold, three, I should say. And... Not crazy about this case, though. So this is the case for those wondering. Um, it, it, the flap is in the way. It, it, and then when you're opening it, so when you're open over here, when you open like that, you see that flap on the side, that tab. It just, it's annoying to me. And it's always flapping in the way. Now, the pen, and I know we're not talking, this wasn't supposed to be a, a, a live stream on this product, but the pen works well. It's your S Pen, right? Those are the what people wanted. It has this little slot here. And this slides out. You can see here, and I can go to this camera. So you can see it slide, slides out, and then you have like a little sheath, like a case for it. Uh, probably going to lose it at some point. Um, and you can see it here. You're going to probably lose it, but who knows? <laughs> so... There's a long story, Handquake, between that the two. Yes, it was fixed, and it was returned to me, and they did give me $2,000, Samsung. So they did the right thing. So I, give, commend, I commend Samsung for doing the right thing. So I have no reason to go to the three. But I wanted to do a video on it. I did do a video on it and did not do well, did not do well. All right, let's, uh, well, we can talk more about it in a moment, but let's turn our attention to the result here. 9195 time spy. Let me just uh, make a screenshot here. Hold on. Okay. So 9195. Now, to put it into perspective, let's uh, bring up the Legion score. Legion did better. Again, that's a gaming laptop. I expect better, by the way. So this did. Oh, look at it. So 12, yeah. So you see what a gaming laptop versus a professional uh, mobile workstation, 12,137, 9,195. So there you go. 
So you see the difference. Uh, I know we're all over the place today, but that's okay. The big question with the Fold 3 will be, is the same problem with the screen showing the crack after it for a number of months? So, well, that, I don't think I'm going <laughs> to, that's a good question. <laughs> It's a good question, uh, William. I don't think I'm going to hold on to it long enough. I think I'm going to send it back. I have 21 days, now less than 21 days, to return this. Uh, I have the Fold 2. I don't need this. I did it because I wanted to make a video. I haven't done a phone in a while, but I have a feeling no interest from my regular viewers, so I'm not really sure what to do with this. You know, with this. Now, this is the Phantom Green, by the way. Let me show you the color. And I know you didn't come here for this, but it's a nice color, little fingerprints on it. But I think it's a nice color. It's almost like a dark grayish toward the black end of things. So there you go. What did Jan, Jan saying? Uh, I've decided to only trust Andrew and the B and be the installer when it comes to reviews since others really just want to find negatives from every product they get their hands on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who's so who's B the installer. I don't know who that is. Um, is that another creator? But anyway, I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you very much. What do I prefer? Akash is asking the i5 11 Gen or the Ryzen 5 5500 U. Uh, probably the Ryzen 5, I guess. But that's Zen 2, right? 5500 U. I don't know. I, I don't have a preference one way or the other. I don't think one is better than the other. I think it comes down to what is the thermals and efficiency. Still debating? Well, here's the thing, Robert. If you don't have a fold, right? If you don't have a fold and you want a fold, I would check it out. And they do have, like, I think a 21-day. I think you could have 60 days to return, if I'm not mistaken. 21 days, no, no payments. So pay later. But I'm going to return it, I think. Hard to see on camera. Yeah, so it looks black to me. It's a very dark gray, a dark uh, green. Let me see if this one is better. I'm not really sure if you can see it. It looks almost like a grayish. It's very hard to show. Maybe on this really good camera. Let's see. So I have to stand, because there's no autofocus on this camera. You have to get it in focus. So there you go. All right, we got our first, first super chat of the day. Back to back. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Let's go to, I'm sorry, Handquake. Thank you very much. Super chat. $5, my friend. I appreciate that. And then we have a nice super chat. $10 from Duck Vision. Can you tell a big difference between the two keyboards? The P15 Gen 2 has the advantage of having a large chassis and get the best ThinkPad keyboards. Wondering how the Legion compares. I came a bit late. So the keyboards, I would give the edge, obviously, to the ThinkPad. It is a ThinkPad keyboard. Not to say this is bad. This key travels a little bit shallow, but a very nice keyboard. It's that Lenovo keyboard we've seen with the smile-shaped keys. This has 1.8 millimeters of key travel, has that legendary feel, that ThinkPad keyboard feel. It's actually pretty nice. So, Robert, you don't have it yet. I would check it out. I, I think they're an interesting phone. I think it's, a, it's an interesting concept. Uh, and if you want to check it out, you can always get it. If you don't like it, return it. Uh, Christine likes to fold, but the budget would be the flip. So the flip seems to be getting a lot more mainstream attention. And rightfully so. I think it's a more mainstream. It's geared towards more mainstream people than tech enthusiasts, I think. Uh, Jan Hendrik is saying good morning to Robert. Uh, good evening from Finland. Yes, yeah, smooth snooth by day, rock by night. Okay, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> I bought a Fold 3, so Duck Vision bought the Fold 3, paying the $15 a month for the protection, not risking having this phone without it. Yes, if you followed my uh, saga with the Fold 2, you definitely want to make sure. But they do have the Premier service. They do have the Premier service, and it they did fix it, although they did lose it, or well, UPS lost it, and they did the right thing in the end. So I'm happy with that. Uh, again, I don't... If I didn't have a folding device, I would keep this. It's just an expensive. I just don't need it. The Fold 2 does the job. I'm not going to use the S Pen all that much to justify the difference. My wife chose the Flip 3. She loves it, loves how small it fits in her pocket. What about the iPhone 13? Well, that's an interesting question, Andy. When it comes out, we're going to take a look at it um, maybe this fall. So I'm sure it's going to garner a lot, a lot of attentions, right? All right, Alder Lake scores. Uh, Jeremy's bringing up some Alder Lake scores, which I'm very interested in. 
Geek Pench, i9, 12900K, multi-core, 17,299. Now, to put that into perspective, uh, we saw what we got on this, on the 9,000s. Um, on this one, let's, let's go here. And I don't know why I turned off that thing. Okay, here we go. So just to put it in perspective with the Alder Lake, um, this did 9183. And this one did 9301. So what Jeremy is telling us from Alder Lake, which is a 12th gen Intel processor, 17,299. The i7 was 11,895. The i5 was 8950. I know these are speculative, but scores are looking really good. Yes, they are looking very good. That is very promising indeed. But we won't see these till next year, right? So, or maybe late this year. I don't know what the time frame is, and who knows if they'll get delayed. All right, we have 69 of you watching. Good to see everybody. Just to recap what we've been doing here so far, if you see here, we we're looking at the Lenovo Legion 7i, which I dropped my first video on it yesterday, my review actually of it yesterday. And then next to it is the ThinkPad P15 Gen 2 mobile workstation. I mean, if you are somebody who wants power, not be beauty over, or, or brawn over beauty, I would say, then this is your... Uh, this is your choice right here. Um, not the most beautiful bezels. Uh, and I, as I mentioned earlier, 1996 was calling, and they want their bezels back, right? That's the theme there. But having said that, some very impressive scores. Oh, no, Robert. $150 once again? This is just... Robert is single-handedly supporting the channel, ladies and gentlemen. So let's give it up for Robert. He is amazing. Thank you, my friend. Round of applause. Wow. Every week it's getting to the point where Robert is now, he's like my partner Like <laughs> at this point. Um, I don't know what to say. I really do appreciate it. And it just makes me feel good because it knows I'm doing something right. I know the, there are people who are devoted to the channel. And, you know, sometimes when I release a video, um, not to get all emotional here, but sometimes I release a video, I don't know how it's going to perform. And I put my heart and soul into it. And a good case in point is my video on this, on this uh, Fold 2, or Fold 3 rather, didn't do well at all. And I think that's my fault because we were very laptop-centric for about over a year and a half or whatever it's been. And so I don't blame people, my regular viewers, for not watching. However, I'm interested in this stuff, right? I'm interested in this stuff, and, and there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to review it. And we have people like Robert and people like Doc Vision and Nadine and, and William and all you very devoted um, community members of, of this channel. I, I'm truly, deeply uh, appreciative and I'm humbled by it. I really am. Got to keep your number good for the month. <laughs> You're not kidding. The, the, that this, this video tanked. It was my worst video, I think. I would say it's my worst video in three to four years, it's looking like. So not 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 uh, not not great. <laughs> Good stuff. You do an awesome job. Thank you. I appreciate that. Everybody give it up for Robert once again with a fantastic uh, display of support on the channel. I really appreciate it. I'm hoping to do a video on the Samsung Gear Watch for you. Yeah, I'm going to get videos out on them. I really like the, I don't have it. It's upstairs. I'm not, I'm wearing my, my Rolex for anybody who cares. Uh, it's the date just two, if anybody ever was interested. And I, by the way, I just checked on the, um, and let me show it to you because this is, a, I love my watch. This watch, I'm not trying to do a flex here or anything. I'm just telling you, this watch, when I bought it, I guess it was about $8,000. Now, I just checked. They're going for about $12,000 now. So I'm loving this watch, although there are some scratches on it. And I will have to get it cleaned and so forth. I'm going to have to take it to uh, a, a Rolex dealer. But getting back to the, to the, to the, the Watch 4, it's a big difference when it comes to um, the Watch 4 as opposed to 
uh, the previous iterations. It's very comfortable, and I like the features, and I like the move towards uh, the Google OS, or what is it called, the Wear OS. But you really don't feel it so much. It still has that uh, One UI skin from Samsung, so it's been good in that regard. Any any plans for a video? Yeah, I'm going to do a video on that, on that debacle with Samsung. And they did the right thing. In the end, they did the right thing. I don't want to give give away too much. I'll go over the whole thing. I will do a video on it. I'm, I'm just so pressed for time right now. I'm going to do, uh, Pavel, I'm planning on doing best of 2021 so far. Uh, it's a pretty ambitious en endeavor. So I plan to have that out into the next week or two. So stay tuned. I'm going to go over that in a video. Robert Lund, good to see you, my friend. I know it's not XPS 15 video, but the pricing of the i7 and i9 are the same right now. So should I upgrade the i9? Stick with the i7. Stick with the i7, don't get the i9. You're not gonna see any benefit and it'll get a little bit hotter and the thermals won't be quite as good. So on the XPS 15, I mentioned that in the video, get the i7, the 11800H processor, get the 3050 Ti if you can, okay? Don't get the i9 like me. You flex with Patek Philippe, not Rolex. What? <laughs> That's good too, by the way. That is good, I like Patek Philippe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see uh with, okay russ let's go to russ's uh question here besides thunderbolt and pcie gen 4 what's the difference of the intel and the amd lenovo legion so that is a big difference uh the pcie 4 is some very phenomenal fast ram but the the difference is going to be in the processor if you're a big fan of the amd you're going to like that it's great uh, but I don't have it. The Ryzen 9 on that one should be good. But you're not getting Thunderbolt. And I don't know on a gaming laptop if you necessarily need it. So that is going to be, hopefully I'll be getting one into review as well. Did I review it? Maybe I already did. I got so many laptops, I don't even remember. So PCI 4, this is what you're going to get. This is the kind of numbers, sheer raw speed of a read and write on a PCI 4, PCIe Gen 4, SSD, 6587 on the read, 4949 on the right. Those are some pretty phenomenal numbers. I know, um, And then we'll have less battery life. So I don't know. I would have to go do a comparison between the two. So one thing I do know, and, and I want to tell you, Rahul, is that um, the battery life will be better on the i7, actually. Now that I think about it, yes, the battery life will, should be better on the i7. So I don't think there's any benefit going with an i9 in this case, in most cases, especially if the heat dissipation is not there, if it's going to throttle down, you're not going to get the benefit from that. We got another super chat from Duck Vision, $5. I'm no expert, but you're... Uh, but you get a few, but but YouTube gets a few dozen phone reviews once the NDA lifts. People can only watch so many reviews on a phone. Laptops are different. I agree. And again, I'm not getting these phones from Samsung or Apple or any of these people. So I'm 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 at a distinct disadvantage when it comes to the release of a phone, obviously. And if you go back all the way, you'll notice I'm a phone reviewer, first and foremost, when I first started. Um, I was one of the first to have the Huawei Mate 20X, that huge, giant smartphone, which I absolutely loved. I did the Mi, what was it, the Mi, the, the, the Xiaomi phones uh, that were the giant phones as well. So that was very good. Now, we got 100 rupees. Is that rupees from Alex M? I think that's rupees. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. So everybody's so generous today. All 66 of you. Very nice. Thank you. Um, Intel leaked, according to Jeremy, Intel leaked Thunderbolt 5 USB-C connectivity. It could offer 80 gigabits per second connections. Wow, that would be a great. That would be great. Um, I've learned that there's a Windows update that allows you to use two web cameras for login. Has someone installed it? I don't know. That's a good question, Jan. Uh, Russ, uh, Marshall's telling Russ, back in the day, it was the complete opposite. Intel was known for better battery life, right? But what's happened is the AMD chips have been much more efficient. But I got to tell you this, and I want to get on the soapbox a little bit. After using this slim, slim not the slim, the Lenovo Legion 7i, the one on the right there, I've noticed the comeback of Intel. I know Intel took a bashing for the last year or so 
uh, saying that AMD is past them. Obviously, Apple's past them and so forth. Not so fast. Not so fast. I think this is a nice comeback laptop. I think the combination of the, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the core i7 11800H and the RTX 3080 with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM has made this my favorite gaming laptop here for 2021 so far. And I'm loving the thermals on it with that vapor chamber cooling. Yes, the fans get loud, but so do a lot of gaming laptops. Premium build. We don't normally see that on a gaming laptop. It's in all metal, pretty much all metal. There is some plastic parts, but for the most part, all metal design. Nice keyboard. It has the lights that people like. If you could always turn it off if you don't. Uh, thin bezels. And, of course, the display. It's got a QHD 2560 by 1600, 16 to 10, 165 hertz refresh rate display. And it's a very fast display. Three millisecond response time. There is very, very little. Happy Sunday to Farid. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Um, this PC portable ThinkPad is very good international. Yes, so this is a this is a mobile workstation, and it is a little bit heavy. Uh, I, I forgot the numbers on it. I'll, I'll give you it in the video. It's like over, it's I think about six pounds or so, maybe less. I don't remember, but... It is portable for a workstation. And I got to tell you, expandability on this is great and the power is great. Beauties, beauty wise, and not so much. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> so, according to Jeff, uh, that's why the competition is a good thing. It keeps companies innovating and improving their products. That is a very good point. Uh, obviously, competition breeds innovation. And I think that's what we want to see. Let me do one more test uh, on the time spy. We did the time spy. Let's do the fire strike. I don't know why I closed the app up. But we got a pretty decent time spy score, by the way. Not quite as good as the one on the 7i. So while that's loading up, let's go to this. Hold on. I keep doing this the wrong way. I have this set up in a better way, but next time I'll do it. All right, so benchmarks. Let's go there. Let's go to fire strike over here. And let's run that. It's on performance mode. And while that's running that, we can uh, go back to here and take a look at these laptops and get some more questions. Big, big fan. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Russ is asking, any update or news about the Spectre X360 with dedicated GPU? What is the best two-in-one laptop in 2021? Russ, I'm going to be doing a video on that. Uh, as far as the Spectre, I expect it by the fall. I, I think we're getting close to some time where we start to hear news about a updated Spectre. So I'm I'm hoping 8-series processors at this point, uh, if they're going with Intel, I don't think we're going to see AMD, to be honest. But getting back to the Spectre line, H-series, RTX, hopefully graphics maybe, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I can only speculate. Are the fans irritating on the Legion 7 on performance mode? So you will notice them. Does it bother me personally? No. It doesn't bother me personally. But it is noticeable. And they do ramp up in performance mode. And they need to keep it cool. Now, most ga real gamers are going to have a good set of headset, you know, headphones on it. And that will block out a lot of the ambient noise, I guess. So that's one way to look at it. But I would prefer to have loud fans than it to throttle down and give you lousy performance. That's just me. Windows 11 promotes there will be numerous new apps for Windows Store. Exciting. Yeah. So Windows 11, and I've been seeing a lot of reports now that you can unofficially install Windows 11 on unsupported devices, uh, according to some reputable sources. Uh, so that's good news as far as Windows 11 is concerned, which will be coming in this fall. Do they have... Do they have faster RAM? Yes, this has the fast. So the, on this one, the one I'm not testing right now, but the one on the right has the XR, what is it? The X8 RAM as opposed to the X16 that we saw on the Dell XPS 15. So the X8 will give you a better performance, a few frames per second boost. It'll be better. So it does have the faster RAM. Yes. I think it's okay for me as long as it sustains performance and does not thermal throttle. So I showed you what it is under heavy load in my video, Russ. So go over to my channel if you didn't watch it. Check it out. And I go over it with my Prime 95 stress test. And in that, I saw uh, 
It does throttle. It, so we'll get to about 4.95 gigahertz around there for about five minutes till it hits a core temperature of 95 degrees Celsius. And then I saw it throttle down, not much, to maybe, uh, I think, 3.8 to 4.1 gigahertz. And that would maintain throughout with a cooler temperature of 81 to 87 degrees Celsius. We got another super chat from Andy. Good, my friend, Andy Kyler. Uh, I appreciate the super chat, my friend. Uh, question is just off topic, but a big shout out out to all my fellow nurses around the world for making a bad situation better. Well done. And absolutely, everybody give it up to all the healthcare workers, nurses, of course, included, um, especially the nurses who don't get enough credit, in my opinion. My wife is a nurse, and so I definitely appreciate that, Andy, and I appreciate your work uh, being out there in the field. I know what it's like, and we, we salute you, my friend. Exactly, Nadine. For most users, any of these PCs will be plenty fast enough for what they do. Absolutely. You know, we, we, we lose sight a little bit sometimes when we get into the, the nitty-picky and the sheer raw numbers of this. But, yeah, these are very capable laptops to do, like, pretty much anything, you know, within limitation, of course. But, yeah, these are some, especially this one on the left that I'm testing now, especially if you're, you're doing CAD work, uh, 3D rendering, stuff like that, you're going to really like it especially in a portable form factor although you know we have to take that within context of a mobile workstation not as an ultra portable yes i agree russ let us salute to the healthcare workers of the world absolutely all right so we had a pretty nice live stream so far um we've been live a little bit more than an hour i don't know how much longer we're going to go let's get through this fire strike score and then um, we can go see see how that's all going to play out. I'm bad with my switching today. I don't know. I you know I've got the A10 Mini here, and it gets confusing even to me even now. Um, you can see it here, and I've got so many buttons on it. It just gets confusing. All right, so Kosar. What do you recommend uh, between XPS 17, Legion 7i for content creator and casual gamer? So that's a very good question. So for content creator, I would skew towards the XPS 17 because I think the coverage of the color gamut is better. Uh, and, it, and you can also get a 4K UHD plus display, which is a more pixel. So for color grading, content creation, Photoshop, I would lean towards that. If you're gaming, I would lean towards the... Uh, 7i, obviously, for the higher refresh rate on the display, the RTX 3080 GPU. I think the thermals are a little bit better, although the XPS 17 also has vapor chamber cooling, but again, a, a smaller form factor than the 7i that we have there. All right, and Robert agrees with Andy. Uh, both my sisters are registered nurses. Well, that's great, uh, Robert, and they can't say enough good things about them, healthcare in general as well. That's fantastic, Robert. Yes, we salute all those healthcare workers. Absolutely. Do I like the E14, the ThinkPad? I think I actually have that here. I just didn't get to it yet. Believe it or not, I think I have the E14, a more budget-oriented ThinkPad. Uh, stay tuned, my friend. It's coming. You got it. Uh, all right. So while this is doing that, Let's see what the result is. Nice, 20,075. And to put into perspective versus a gaming laptop. So this is the difference. A gaming laptop, 25,000, and I can show it to you here. 25,284, 20,075. Both excellent scores on the Fire Strike score. So very, very good stuff. So while this is not a gaming laptop, you definitely could game. This is a gaming laptop. Uh, absolutely, Jan Henrik, I definitely agree. Life wins thanks to nurses. I get my second Pfizer vaccine next week. Forever thankful. Give it up for Jan. Nice. For those of you go out, get vaccinated. Please help us all out. Uh, well, now you've got two more PCs to tile your floor. <laughs> yeah, this bigger one will take up a little bit more space. I should have the entire floor covered very soon. 
Don't get me started here. You know what I'm going to do now, right? So let me get that set up. <laughs> All right. So I should add more to the tile floor. <laughs> it's a little crooked. Hold on. Well, you get the picture. You get the drift. Oh, by the way, I got. I'm, I am all joking aside. These are going back this week. I'm. I've already got the boxes ready. A lot of these are going back. All these HPs and all that stuff. That's all going back. I don't need them. I just need to tile the floor. So there you go. <laughs> All right, so the 16 to 10 aspect ratio looks really good on the uh, Legion 7. Yes, I agree. I agree. It does look good. Look at and this one's in the way. Uh, I do agree. All right, instead of milk crate challenge, it could be the laptop challenge. Yeah, but I'm the only one. I'm the cause of the laptop shortage, as I mentioned the previous streams. Uh, it's my fault. I apologize to everybody. Yeah, I agree. Definitely, congratulations. Garage sale. Uh, yeah, but it's not my stuff. So if I do sell it, I'll have to le go leave town, get out of Dodge, go on the lam. Is the second SSD slot for the Legion a PCIe 4 or PCIe 3? I think I don't, you know, that's a good question. I don't know. Uh, we got to look into that. I, I want to say 4, but I'm not sure. Could be a 3 on that one. Let's, I gotta, if anybody knows the answer to that by any chance, let us know. Are you a ThinkPad or Legion? You you are you like am I like ThinkPad or Legion? I like them both, but they're just two different laptops, right? One is a gaming laptop and one is a mobile workstation or business focused, depending on the thing which ThinkPad you get. This is a more business focused, this is more gaming focused. Very different, very different, but I wanted to show the differences through these two types of laptops. That's why there's a laptop shortage. Yeah, ab absolutely. <laughs> It's it's because of me. Um. Anyway, so I got to tile the floor. I, I'm almost, you know, I I got about a quarter of the floor tiled now. We should have a little bit more soon. So <laughs> the holiday season should pretty much finish my redecoration here, my renovation. Um. All right. Let me get some coffee here. So let me take a screenshot. I forgot to do that. And I did it. All right. So those are some testing. Uh, I don't know how much longer we're going to go. It's already an hour and eight minutes. But it's been a very, very good live stream, people. Did I get everybody's super chat? I got Andy's. I got your super chat, right? I think so. If I didn't, thank you, Andy. I appreciate it. I think I got all the super chats. Been very nice, people. I appreciate it. Any other questions or comments? Or forever hold your peace, my friends. Just curious, in regards to the Intel i7 to, or i9, is the i9 a waste of money or just a very niche market? Uh, it's a tough question. I think for the most part, most people should get an i9. I mean, I'm sorry, excuse me, an i7. i9 has a very limited use case scenario. If you're doing very specific video editing, like I do, um, you might get some extra performance out of that i9, but for the most part, i7 will do better on thermals, will do better on battery life, and ultimately better on performance as a result as there will be less throttling, at least theoretically. So I would say, Robert, get the get the i7 if you have a choice. i9 is just overkill, and you might even take a hit because of the heat that it generates. Have a great Sunday, Marshall. All right. So add, if you want to add Robert L, add me on Facebook and anyone else who wants, anyone who's stuck on that platform. Okay, there you go. There, the Yoga 9 with the rotating soundbar are some of the best speakers. Any update on the refresh of those? My guess, this fall. I think we'll see it this fall. I think that's about the time we would expect it, again, with barring any delays. Uh, so stay tuned i9 would be worth it in a desktop yeah i agree i'm talking laptops here people as far as difference with an i9 and i7 i9 you'll get a better benefit out of an i9 in a desktop as opposed to a laptop 
And you're not going to see a major difference. And that's my point, right? And, and I think we, we saw that when I compared, when we sort of saw it with the i5, with the, I'm sorry, with the XPS 15, which I have the i9, and of course the XPS 17, which had the i7, didn't see a huge difference in performance. Really very negligible if at best. Yes, I agree. HP is good. All right. I think we're out of close here. We're at an hour and 10 minutes. I think we're going to call it a day. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Uh, what a great live stream. Thank you, everybody who gave a super chat. Thank you, Robert, for such a generous donation. Doc Vision. Everybody else who contributed to super chats today, I want to thank you. It's keeps. This is what really motivates me, not the money. I don't care about the money. It's the dedication and the engagement with the audience and and knowing that I'm making a difference, at least on this kind of stuff. So I want to thank everybody who did that. I want to thank all the moderators today for doing such a great job. Handquake, everybody else, you know who you are. And I want to thank uh, everybody who stopped by for the chat, who hung out today. Uh, I want to wish everybody a great rest of your week, this upcoming week. And I will see you in the next video. So take care, everybody, and have a great rest of your day.